Hi, my name is Greg from GospelCourse.com and welcome to this week's edition of Chord of the Week. In fact, this week we're not going to talk about a chord, we're going to talk about a progression and how easy it is to use our course to create your own progressions from scratch. Stop copying other people's progressions. Be yourself, be an individual, create your own progressions from scratch. And that's another thing we teach you in our course. Um, I'm going to sit down and we're going to make up a progression from scratch. Let's get started. Uh, we're going to be in the key of D flat. And uh, to make a progression, it, it, it is as simple as just picking the tone to the scale that you want to be in your progression. And I'm going to pick uh, four tones. It's, there's going to be the one, the major seven, which is C, the seven, which is B, and the six, which is B flat. Chromatic uh, progression starting from the one, and I might even go to the E flat. Very simple, but on the face it sounds very boring. D flat, C, B, B flat. But using our course, you're going to come up with some very pretty and beautiful harmonizations. Now, so we're going to play a one, major seven, seven, and six. Now what you're going to do is, once you have the tones defined that you want in your progression, it is as simple as opening up your, uh, your book, your, your volume one, which is your reference manual for uh, harmonizations in scale. So you're going to open up to harmonize this first chord on the one, the D flat. You're going to open up to the chapter on the one, and you're going to pick one of the available chords to harmonize on the one. Now, remember, this harmonization is my harmonization. If you don't like it, there are lots of other chords that you can choose in the book and make this progression your own. So, uh, in this particular case, we happen to have chosen chord number 658 in the chapter on harmonizing on the one, which is the D flat. And we happen to have chosen, like I said, chord number 658, which is a major nine. Let's hear how this chord sounds. Very beautiful, okay? The next chord uh, is going to be a minor seven flat five. Uh, we simply open the book to the chapter on the major seven because we want to harmonize on the C. And we chose chord number 591, which is a minor seven flat five. So we're going to be playing a C minor seven flat five to harmonize on that major seven. It's very pretty. If you don't like this one, you know, you can choose others, but this is the one I happen to like. So let's hear those first two chords together. The next chord is a seven. Like I said, just open the book to the chapter on chords to harmonize on the seven. Like I said, you cannot play a wrong chord with our course. All of these chords have been scientifically engineered to fit together like Lego building blocks. They simply, you just simply put them together and create. Okay, so the next chord, like I said, is going to be a seven. It's going to be chord number 718. That's in volume one. And the chord is a 9 flat 5, so we're going to be playing a B9 flat 5 to harmonize on the 7. Let's hear that one. Brilliant. So let's hear the first three chords together. Okay. Now the next tone that we have in our progression that we made up, the next tone is going to be a 6. So open up the book, still, we're still in volume one, open up to the chapter on the six and choose one of the available chords. Uh, we happen to have chosen chord number 458, which is a minor nine. Let's hear how that one sounds. Okay. Now let's put all four together and see what we have come up with. usually go. I told you in the course, the 6 usually goes to the 2, which is an E flat, or usually goes to the 4. The 4th of B flat is E flat. So the next chord, logically, if you were just going to play, would be an E flat chord. And uh, like I said, if you wanted to harmonize on the E flat, open up the book 
volume one to the chapter on the two and choose one of the available chords. Uh, I happen to have chosen an E flat uh, a minor chord and I believe it's chord uh, 108 in uh, volume one. Let's hear how that one sounds, this E flat. So let's hear how they all sound together starting from the one. Now, suppose we didn't want to go directly from that 6 to that 2, from the B flat to the E flat. Remember in the chorus I told you about how chords move, and I talked about neighbors. All tones have neighbors. So let's use neighbors, and let's not go directly from the B flat to the E flat. Let's use neighbors, and so let's stop on the A, because the A is a neighbor of uh, B flat. And this A happens to be a plus 5 in the key of D flat. And if you want to harmonize on this one, you'll need volume uh, 3, which is harmonization for out of scale because A is not in the major scale of D flat. So you'll need, uh, you'll need volume 3 to figure out what the harmonization is for that. But uh, those harmonizations happen to be very beautiful when you start harmonizing out of scale. And uh, the chord we're going to play for that is going to be an A. It's in the book. I believe it's chord number 608. It's a 7 flat 5, 7 flat 10 plus 5. And it's got some brows, but it's out of scale. Brows, very pretty. And, you know, it nicely resolves to that 2 chord. Hear that? Ah, oh, that's really nice. That distance. And of course, we're talking about distance. Remember, I explain everything in the chorus. There's no stone left unturned. So let's hear how that sounds. The whole thing going from the one and stopping on that plus five, that neighbor. Very nice. Now remember, E flat has a neighbor to D. If you feel like stopping on that neighbor, stop on that one. Uh, and like I said, it's covered in the chorus. Uh, look up in volume 3 how to voice on the D, which is a flat 2 in the key of D flat, and you'll find the chord, you'll find this one. So let's hear the whole thing together. Stop on the neighbors and we start to add all this color and richness to our harmonization. So this is what we have so far. B down to the 6. Stop and get that growl on that A. Stop on the other neighbor. Okay. Now we're here on the 2. Where does the 2 usually go? The 2 usually goes to the 5, which is A flat. Now in gospel, you have these things called walk-ups, and they're all over the place. Well, you want to walk on up from the E flat to the A flat, you don't want to go there directly. So you can walk on up by just going from E flat to F, G flat, G to A flat. And it's the same process. Each one of those tones are numbered. Open up your book to the proper chapter, depending on what tone it is and pick one of the harmonizations and you can do a walk up from the E flat to the A flat and it'll be your own. You created it from scratch, not something you saw someone else do and they'll be coming to you, hey man, what was that I just heard? So let's hear how that sounds. And I'm not going to you know, go step by step, but it's all in the course. Get the course. So let's start from the beginning. feedback. I said I do this every week as long as I got feedback. I have gotten very little feedback. I may have gotten 10 comments. I'm looking for 50 comments. I've got thousands of hits on the website, but nobody's leaving comments. If you stop leaving comments, I'm going to stop doing it. So leave me lots of feedback and tell me that you like the stuff. Get the course. It's, we explain this in detail. Every note, every chord, every transition is explained in the first book, the tutorial. It's a huge book. It's over a hundred pages. Get it. Gospel-course.com. You can't go wrong.